Hello friends, welcome back to my channel Instrument Calibration. If you are new on this channel, then please subscribe this channel and press bell icon to get notification when we post new video on channel. And if you have missed my previous videos, you can find link in the description box. This video is about Electromagnetic Flowmeter. In this video, I will cover 5 major topics about Electromagnetic Flowmeter. First topic is about basic introduction of electromagnetic flow meter. Second topic is about application of electromagnetic flow meter. Third topic is about electromagnetic flow meter working principle. Fourth topic is about advantages of electromagnetic flow meter. And final topic is about limitation of electromagnetic flow meter. First of all, let's learn some basics about magnetic flowmeter. Magnetic flowmeter is also known as mag flowmeter or electromagnetic flowmeter. Secondly, magnetic flowmeter is velocity based flow meter. In other words, it is used to measure volumetric flow rate of liquids. Magnetic flowmeter operating principle is based on Faraday's law of electromagnetic induction. According to this principle, when a conductive medium passes through a magnetic field, a voltage is generated which is proportional to the velocity of the medium, the density of the magnetic field and the length of the conductor. So, E is equal to C, B, V, L. Where E stands for generated voltage. C is constant. B stands for magnetic field. V stands for velocity of medium. L is the length of conductor. Now, what are the applications of electromagnetic flowmeter? It is best suitable for wastewater applications or any dirty liquid such as wastewater treatment plant, sewage treatment plant etc. In other words, it is ideal for any liquid which is conductive or water-based. Mag flow meter can be used in general for any fluid which is having a reasonable electrical conductivity above 10 microsiemens per centimeter. Fluids like sand water slurry, coal powder, slurry, sewage, wood pulp, chemicals, hot fluids, high viscous fluids especially in food processing industries, and cryogenic fluids can be measured by mag flow meter. Now, how does electromagnetic flow meter work? As you can see from the picture that, mag flowmeter has two exciting coils. These two exciting or field coils generates constant magnetic field. And liquid flowing through the pipe act as conductor. When conductive liquid such as water flows through the pipe or tube, the magnetic field applies force to the charged particles. And it induces voltage. And this induced voltage is detected by two sensing electrodes which are mounted in mag flow meter body. This induced voltage E is proportional to B, V, L. In this equation, V is magnetic field strength, V is a velocity of conductor, and D is the length of conductor. Let's take one more example to understand this principle. As you can see from the picture that, if there is no liquid flow, no electrical voltage measured at electrode. Since all electrical charge particles are evenly distributed. And when liquids start to flow, magnetic field apply force to electrical charge particles. Positive charge particles and negative charge particles are separated and collect on opposite side of tube wall. And these positive and negative charge particles generates electrical voltage. Now, what are the advantages of electromagnetic flow meter? Firstly, magnetic flow meter is obstructionless. In other words, obstruction to the flow is almost nil, and therefore this type of meters can be used for measuring heavy suspensions, including mud, sewage and wood pulp. Secondly, magnetic flow meter is cost effective. It means that, Electric power requirements can be low, 
particularly with pulse DC types. Third advantage is that, mag flowmeters are highly accurate. Typical accuracy of magnetic flow meter is 0.5 percentage of measured value. Fourth advantage is that, mag flow meter does not have any moving parts. Last but not least, magnetic flow meters are almost maintenance free. Limitations of magnetic flow meter Magnetic flow meter can be only used for conductive liquids. Therefore, it cannot be used for metering the flow rate or gases in steam. Magnetic flow meter is very expensive device. As the magnetic meter always measures the volume rate, the volume of any suspended solids in the liquid will be included. Thank you friends for watching this video. I hope you really like this video. Please give me your valuable feedback in comment box. And if you do not want to miss informative video like this, then please subscribe this channel.